Hi, my name is Dr. Jay Desai and I welcome you all to this 15th video on gate series for metallurgical engineering. In this video, I am talking about stages of annealing, that is recovery, recrystallization and grain growth. But first, let's talk about what is annealing. So annealing is the process of heating the steel slightly above, that is 30 to 50 degree above the critical temperature, which is 723 degrees centigrade and allowing it to cool down slowly. Now, why do we need annealing or what is the reason behind annealing or why people perform annealing on the first place? So annealing is done to soften the steel, to improve the machinability of the steel, to increase the ductility of steel, to enhance toughness of steel and to improve the overall homogeneity of steel. And there are three stages which are involved in annealing, recovery, recrystallization and grain growth. So let's talk about it. The first stage is recovery. So initially the steel or the material is in cold work state and when it is in cold work state it is in deformed state means it has a very high defect density and also high internal stresses. And since it has internal stresses these stresses are because of point and line defects. So when we heat to less than 300 degrees centigrade, these residual stresses which are due to point and line defects are removed. And this happens in such a way that it does not damage the dislocation density. And that is why this phase is called as recovery phase, which, is, which can be seen over here. Now, as we move further and as we increase the annealing time, what happens? Now, the new set of strain-free grains and equiex grains are formed and also the dislocation density is decreased. So, dislocations are annihilated. Here, you can see the partially recrystallized state where the grain boundaries are moving and they are sweeping the substructure. And here, you can see the fully recrystallized state where deformation substructure is removed. And this recrystallization temperature is 0.3 Tm for metals and 0.7 Tm1 for alloys. Here Tm is the melting point of metal and Tm1 is the melting point of metal with a higher melting point in an alloy. If we keep for a longer time or if we increase the temperature, then what happens is grains which are in favored orientation or grains with favored orientation they grow in expense of others that are not favored. And we will see grain growth in the material. And this occurs when temperature is above the recrystallization temperature. So grain growth usually occurs at temperature above recrystallization temperature. So these are three different stages of annealing and what happens at each stage of annealing. The next informational video I will be uploading by 24th July and I will talk about top 15 universities for material science engineering in the US and this will be as per QS World University Rankings for Material Sciences. And the next technical video I will try to upload by 31 July 2021 and that I will be talking about grades of steel that is carbon steels, alloy steels, stainless steels and tool steels. And this technical video will be a part of gate metallurgical engineering series. I hope you like my video and to watch more videos and support my work, please subscribe to my channel. And for suggestions, queries on the content or for possible openings collaboration, you can reach out to me on LinkedIn, email and YouTube. 
And if you have any general questions pertaining to metallurgy and material science, askmemetallurgy.com is a very good website. It's a student's community. It has over 15 sections like physical metallurgy, heat treatment, and mechanical metallurgy, etc. And questioners can select a question most relevant to their question and post their question on the same. So questioners can select a section and they can post their question on the same. The video sponsor for this video is Metagate Coaching. It's a premier coaching institute in Hyderabad and uh, it has shown great results uh, for GATE 2020 and 2021. And apart from the ranks, they are also successful in a great number of selections in PSU and government jobs. And they are also starting a new online live class batches for GATE 2022 Metallurgical Engineering students. These are some of the results for uh, Metagate and Metagate coaching wishes hearty congratulations to all the rankers. These are for 2021 and uh, hearty congratulations from Metagate to the 2020 toppers also. And uh, this is the different uh, PSUs where uh, their students are admitted or secured positions, seats. And uh, they have both long-term and test series batches for GATE 2022. And it has started. You can reach out to them on the, the number and uh, through the website. Thank you.